What's up everybody, welcome back to Josh Travels. Today I got something special for you. We're gonna be covering what type of car to use and like different car agencies that you can use when you're traveling. I've got my good friend Michael. What's up guys, my name is Michael. I run the channel called Burnt, that's spelled B-R-N-T with a period at the end. You can look me up on YouTube, cover everything from car reviews, car vlogs, anything that you want that's related to the automotive community. Today, like Josh said, we're gonna be covering a lot of great stuff with car rentals and different types of cars that you can use when you're traveling um, and that are appropriate for families, couples, and their uh, certain destinations. And if you're wondering how good he is at actual car stuff, he is actually in college studying cars for a living right now. So trust me guys, when we're talking about cars, he does know what he's talking about. Stay tuned to watch the rest. You guys are gonna be happy you guys watch this. All right guys, so there's three places I do want to cover, or three different types of locations that I want to cover. I want to cover the city, such as New York City. I want to cover sort of rough weather conditions, like uh, going up to Lake Placid or really snowy areas. Uh, so I'm going to say Lake Placid, New York. And then I want to cover, I don't know, like Lake Powell, where you're going to have all that dirt or like all, maybe not even like legitimate road conditions. And then like what type of cars you should probably use for those types of situations. Yeah, there's, there's different conditions we want to cover. There's going to be price, reliability, efficiency, and the weather conditions. So kind of like Josh was saying, a lot of locations, you know, there's some fun places to explore, but you're not always going to be wary of the, the road conditions and the weather conditions going into that. So you want to make sure you got a vehicle that's going to get you through those situations. So one thing you do want to look at when you're looking at what different car agencies do you want to use is you kind of want to use a big one, one that's nationwide. So that when you go places, you don't have to worry about where you're returning the car. So you can kind of go from city to city and just drop it off where you want to go. Because if you end up with that mom and pop's rental agency that might have that cheap price, you might not end up being able to return it where you're going. And then you have to drive all the way back to your original destination which is a whole house you don't want to deal with. So I'd recommend five agencies that are pretty big. I would say Avis, Hertz, Budget Car Insurance, Enterprise, Enterprise and then National. So yeah, guys, like Josh was saying, you want to go with something that's reputable and reliable, uh, such as the ones that we just listed off for you. You know, they offer a wide array of vehicles. You can get anything from a brand new Jeep to a convertible to, you know, a luxurious sedan. Anything that you can think of that will best fit your situation, um, both from an economic standpoint and from how you want to express yourself when you guys are going on your vacation. So let's say you're going to that city like New York City, you don't want to get that SUV or truck. I know you guys are truck lovers out there, but you do not want to be able to get that truck if you go to New York City because all those different tight turns and all these different reckless drivers that are going to be in these areas, you don't want to have to deal with that and then get in a car accident and then be screwed over with your time and then everything you're doing. So you want to get that small compact car. So you just want to look at different variables like that. Now obviously if you're going someplace that has off-roading or maybe a lot of snow or maybe even like a lot of rain because it's in like hurricane season, you want to get that you want to get that 4x4, you want to get that Jeep, you want to get that truck. But if you're sticking with the city, just trust me guys, use that compact car. Uh, the cheapest cars you can probably get within that scenario would probably be the Ford Fusion and the Toyota Corolla, which is tends to be the car favorite for all these different major car rental agencies. So yeah, the Ford Fusion and Toyotas in general are uh, incredibly reliable, very good cars, um, especially something coming from Ford. Ford over the years has been known as a company that, you know, everybody calls out and says, oh yeah, they rust quicker than a Jeep or quicker than, you know, a truck would that you're using on a job site. The reality of the situation is the Ford Fusion for these past few years has been redesigned to look very, very similar to an Aston Martin, which Ford actually owns. So it comes with a lot of standard features that you would not find in any other vehicle of that price point. Or another awesome option is any of the Toyota lineup of the small and mid-sized sedan uh, segments. Uh, they offer great fuel economy, offer a ton of luxurious features at a price point, again, that is very competitive with the Ford. It's really up to you. Uh, the Ford does come with a four-cylinder option and a V6 option. It also comes with the hybrid powertrain. So if there's anybody who is very concerned about, you know, being conservative, um, with uh, climate change or anything, you know, the weather conditions, or if you're just somebody who prefers an electric vehicle, those are always an option as well. Now, one of the other things is when you go to these locations that have rough weather and different type of terrain that you wouldn't want a compact car, uh, you have the Jeep, which tend to be the favorite for all these different car agencies, the Jeep Wrangler specifically. Now, obviously they have the, uh, the Jeep Cherokee and the Jeep Wrangler. Uh, the cheapest option for these would probably be the Jeep Wrangler because the bigger the car gets, obviously the more expensive the gas is gonna be, as well as the price point that they're gonna give you. Now, a lot of times they'll give you the free upgrade if you have uh, like a different car rental status with them or if they're just out of compact cars, since those tend to be the favorite, you might be able to get that free upgrade. But if not, you'll want to end up using 
uh, the Jeep Wrangler or one of these smaller, medium-sized SUVs so that you don't end up paying that expensive price point. All right, guys, so as Josh touched on, we've got a slew of great companies to offer you guys in no particular order. We've got Avis, Hertz, Enterprise, Elmo, and Budget. Each of these companies is going to come with their pros and cons. Um, each is going to come with their discounts and their membership rewards. Um, and Josh is going to go ahead and get into a little more detail as to which company to pick based on your vacation experience. Okay. All right, guys, so there's a couple different things you want to look at when you're looking at the reliability of these different car agencies. First of all, you want to look at insurance policies. Now, when you're renting these cars, they'll offer you this insurance policy. So if you, uh, you know, get in a car accident, you do all these different crashes, you want to have an insurance policy. Now, buy this if you do not have it, but look at your credit card, look at your car insurance statements, and make sure you're not already paying for something you do already have. Because I know for a fact with me, I had the Platinum Amex card. They do give me that primary car insurance that is important for rental cars. So I do not want to pay this extra $120, $150 that I'll be using during this car. Now, different uh, companies like USAA or different companies will already have this primary car insurance within your plan. So just check up on your different plans that you have specifically and see whether it's actually worth buying it. Now, if you do not have it, if you have the cheap based insurance or you have like no credit card or something like that, yes, you want to buy this. Now, when you're talking about car specifics and price points, the cheapest car you can possibly get is that small compact car. And then it slowly goes by size. They actually charge by size, not necessarily luxury. Now, obviously, you have like different luxurious points per minute. So let's just say uh, the compact car is $33 a day for the extended time period of what you're traveling. The mid-size SUV will be something like $40. Then the large cars will be like $50 to $60, right? So luxury cars will also be at the $60 price point. You'll have the Mustang, you'll have the Camaro. Then you have stuff like the Chrysler. 300 that will be at that $60 a day. If you want this nice type of car, I guess it's really up to your discretion whether or not you want to pay for it. But if you just want something nice and cheap, I would go for that small compact car that's at $33 a day. Now, if you're under the age of 21, you're going to end up paying like a $40 to $60 underage fee depending on the company because they do have different insurance policies that they have to give you this. Now, if you are military, it kind of is important. You do not have to pay this. You just show them your CAC and you'll get off the underage fee. Now the last thing I want to touch on as far as pricing, if you have a Costco membership, credit card membership, or just like any sort of membership that gives you discounts on travel and different car rentals, I would go onto your webpage a week or two before you actually know you have to rent the car. Get the disclaimer, rent it off of your website, and often than not, you'll get about 30% off that car rental. So you'll turn that $500 week-long rental into maybe $400 to $350, which is great if you want to save you a lot of money. Alrighty guys, so a brief rundown of one of our top picks uh, here today is going to be the 2020 Jeep Wrangler. You can currently get this um, at multiple rental, you can get this at multiple rental companies. Uh, the one that we noticed today was Enterprise. They had a gray and a white Jeep Wrangler, both in the Sport S trim. Um, both were four wheel drive as well, you can tell by the little badge on the driver's side of the Jeep. But we will go ahead and go into a few of the features to our uh, display right here. You've got your basic features like your radio, your media. If you have a phone, um, if you have a phone hooked up, you can have an iPhone or an Android uh, device hooked up, and again, it'll pop up right here, and it'll activate Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So, guys, the 2020 Wrangler got a top safety pick, and with this new engine option right here, the turbo four-cylinder engine comes with e-torque hybrid transmission and it is actually up on horsepower than a lot of the competing SUVs. It also has off-road capability, like I said, with the 4x4 transmission. You've got your transfer case right here and you've got your automatic transmission. So it's really easy to get used to, really easy to use, and it's very, very fuel efficient for what it is. Thing, we have the Buick LaCrosse, which will be the kind of the more luxury upscale end of things you can get from the car rental agencies. Now, they do have Audis, they do have some Mercedes, but Buick tends to be a little bit more popular because it's more affordable and easier to maintain than all these German cars. They do come with Apple CarPlay where you can select your music, you can go use Siri, you can go to the maps. You can let you guys know that's out there. They do have also the Android Play, I think it's called Android Play, uh, so you can use your phone hands free onto these things. I do like this because it does have like 
heated seats and stuff, so when you go to like the cold, you'll be pretty warm. Uh, it's just an overall kind of luxurious car. It's the same company that makes uh, Cadillac, so they kind of have like GMC, uh, Buick, and then like Cadillacs right, right right above it. And I do enjoy the style of car that they've made and that they have available with these uh, rental agencies. Yeah, and just touching on what Josh said, um, a lot of these cars, they're built on the same frame. A lot of the body uh, types are very, very similar. Uh, uses IFS all around, so no more of the solid axle that you would find like, on a Jeep or a truck or anything. So the suspension is very refined. And just Josh, driving it right now, Josh, what is your experience just driving it thus far? It feels pretty sporty, pretty comfortable. I mean, even in this passenger seat, I feel I feel pretty well accommodated for a long road trip. I mean, yeah, I don't know if you heard the engine or not, but the pickup is like really quick, and for a luxury car, that's kind of, it's not something you expect to have in a luxury car because back 20 years ago, you'd have that slow pickup. It's zero to 60, it'd be like six, seven, eight sec uh, six, seven or eight seconds. And now I can get zero to 60 in like five, I believe. So it's got that good pickup for when you need to get around, but it's still got that nice luxury feel. It's not that difficult to actually drive because if you haven't noticed, I'm not exactly touching it. They have like this uh, lane assistance and everything that you can actually go with. I'm pretty light on the wheel and it's doing what I, I command it to. Like it's not a difficult car to drive. It's very easy to get used to. And it's really smooth like you don't hear the outside too much like you do with other cars and it has a pretty good noise cancellation which is one thing i like about it probably the best thing that i do notice with these cars is that the brake the hydraulic system has been a lot better lately once again guys thank you for tuning in if you like this video please remember to like and subscribe to my video um, so my buddy Michael, who I did the video with, his channel is called BRNT. If you're interested in his content on cars, just look him up on YouTube. Uh, he'll be posting videos regularly, I think two or three times a week. Tonight, my next video will be skiing in Utah. Just uh, look it up on Tuesday at 5 p.m. I'll be dropping different ski videos on skiing throughout Utah. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.